remember one time at a conference on air quality in Latin America, someone asking me about how I got around. They found out what I did. And they said, oh, well, how do you move around? I said, well, I, I mostly ride my bike. And they say, well, I thought you studied transport. And I said, that's why I ride my bike. Because like I came to the conclusion well before I ever studied this thing that, geez, but riding a bike sure is an easy way to get around. Yeah, I always say that when we think about transportation, we should be thinking about what we're ultimately getting. Mobility is a throughput. It's not the end goal. I mean, if you want to think of a bad analogy, it's not, we don't want money, we want what money gets us. We don't want movement, we don't want transport, we want what transport gets us, accessibility. Good jobs, good schools, able to see our friends, able to develop ourselves completely as people. How do we enhance accessibility? We have billions of people on the planet who don't have access to daily wants and needs, much less grand desires. Um, and the mobility system has to play a role in that. And so f that's a fundamental challenge. How do we ensure mobility systems can enable development? Um, but how do we do it in a way that does not crush the carrying capacity of the planet? It, almost everywhere you see this idea that people grab as much mobility as they can, given their constraints. Um, and you see this in places as varied as Singapore, as Beijing, as Boston. Santiago, Mexico City, and so on. And so clearly they're very different places. Um, but in some sense, they all end up facing some fundamental problem, which is balancing the individual freedom with the need for um, performing in the greatest public good. That is um, a sign from what were affectionately known in Santiago as the micros which were one of the, uh, they, were, they were buses essentially. It was the Santiago bus system before it was transformed uh, via Transantiago into um, a, in a big bang, so to speak, uh, into a new system, an integrated system, integrated fare system, integrated with the metro, um, very polemic and still ongoing. Um, but that is the bus system prior to Transantiago. Um, when I first moved to Santiago in 1990, in 1990, in fact, that was what really started to fascinate me, is how the system that appeared so chaotic um, still functioned. Well, teaching at MIT is great. You're basically in a room with the best and the brightest. And so you have to be sure you can be at least two or three steps ahead of them. And that's impossible because they're always going to go in a path you didn't quite think of. And so you have to be really, really prepared. And so it's an ongoing challenge. And so that means always staying on at the edge of advances in research and practice and so forth. Um, but it makes it a very exciting place to teach. And of course, having such great students around make this a, an ex the students are the lifeblood and the motor of this place. Um, and so it's great. Uh, it's really a, a privilege to be part of such a community.